Okay, so now I also want to address the stability of the units. You'll notice the length of the frame, of the pedal frame here, is much longer with the exercise machine. Uh, as a reminder, Dr. Juris Terords, professor of biomechanics and the founder of the International Society of Biomechanics and Sport, considered the grandfather of all stair climbers, spent years designing the exact proportions of this. There's a reason that it's longer. All right? If we come onto this machine here, you'll notice that I can easily tip that back. All right? Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be trying to do that, but when you're especially, if you wanted to do what we call hill running, and you're back in here, that, if you're not careful, and I've seen people do it, they can start flipping backwards a little bit. So that stability, we feel, is very important. If I were to do the same thing on our machine, and I, I'm honestly trying to flip that backwards, I can't lift that front. And show you again how easily I can with the shorter frame. Look how easy that is for me to do. Okay, so that's an issue. Now, I had talked about the ability to do sprint cardio versus traditional cardio. So if I get on the machine and I actually do essentially walk on the machine, we can walk on the machine. A little bit of a squishing sound because of that compression that I described earlier. But if I want to start to increase the pace now, I'll start to get to that point where it's rebounding back at me because the fluid's got nowhere to go. So there is a limit on the speed of which you can go. And again, because of the quality of the seals used, it's not going to be able to handle the kind of heat generation that a long traditional cardio piece would do when you're doing it over and over, days, weeks, and months. So there's going to be a limit to how long those seals will last. 90-day warranty, five-year warranty. Now, we do a technique for traditional cardio where you can actually run on the machine, and it actually responds to the effort that you put in. So it's about the only machine you can truly get what we call hill running. So especially those better athletes out there, if you're really you know, an elite athlete, there's no way you could get a workout with that traditional hill running that you could like we, we do with ours. But I said we can change the resistance. So I'm going to take you now and show you what sprint cardio looks like. We actually use a special form. So we're going to stand tall. We drop down. Now look at the speed with which I'm able to go here, driving through the hills. I'm also, as I'm driving down with one leg, because of the hydraulics, it's creating a resistance on the upstroke. And in this seated position, I'm actually having to work my leg on the upstroke. That's not happening there. All, right? all you're simply doing is lifting the leg up, ready for the next press down. Well, that's a huge metabolic challenge for strength gains, as well as, as you can see, I'm breathing here, with that kind of speed and intensity that you simply cannot do. I'm going to go as fast as I can now. Drop down. I, I mean, if, as soon as I kind of go with that sort of speed, it, it's almost it's like having a break on it. So, and if you think I'm just making that up, go to your local Walmart, Kmart, pull one out, try it. You can simply see that you can't do the speed work that, again, we can do on here. Okay, so... Once you understand what sprint cardio does and the time it saves you, time is money, that's where ours becomes a completely different piece of machinery. Now, what I'm going to show you now is the fact that this machine is also not just a stepper, and you have to have a fast setting for what I'm about to show you.